away from home, and I would get to my grandmother's house, and that would be it. <laughs> that was as far as I'd go. You were a smart <laughs> kid. You were a smart <laughs> kid. the days. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, we're, we're, we're going to get some pretty nasty weather here today. Mm -hmm. And uh, in fact, um, uh, this is a look through our One Shell Square camera. And enjoy this site while you can because it's going to change up quite a bit a little bit uh, later today. In fact, let's go, let's go straight there. And let me uh, show you what the model is saying uh, in terms of uh, the, the rainfall that I'm expecting for uh, today. And here's a look at a little bit later this morning. This is at 10 a.m. Not much showing up across southeast Louisiana uh, or the Mississippi Gulf Coast for that matter. Uh, here is a look at uh, about noontime ish when some of that rainfall. Fall potential bills into the area. Uh, looks like a pretty good chance of seeing some of that down here in the CBD stretching over towards City Park, maybe into Metairie and Kenner and down towards Wagaman as well. And then it looks like, um, you know, the models are kind of changing up over the last several hours. And uh, now it looks like the worst of the rainfall is going to make its way into the area uh, late afternoon and into the evening hours. In fact, here's that line of showers and storms across the North Shore. This is at 6 p.m. this evening, crosses Lake Pontchartrain into the south. Sure, about 7 or 8 p.m. And then uh, it looks like it's still with us into the 8 and 9 p.m. hour, but we've got some uh, spotty showers as a possibility overnight tonight. The rain is on the way back for Tuesday, not so much so in the morning as in the afternoon. If you were watching Quailin last night, the model was showing the rainfall, the bulk of it in the morning hours. Uh, that has uh, since changed. It's possible that we could see a, a slight adjustment to that timing again uh, for not only today, but for tomorrow as well. But the key thing to remember for uh, today. Day and tomorrow is uh, to be prepared for some potentially severe weather in our area. In fact, we're under an enhanced chance of severe weather for today for just about all of us across southeast Louisiana. This is a picture at 7 p.m. on your Tuesday evening, and you can see that potential for some pretty strong storms are with us even then, and then that moves out of the area around 8 or 9 p.m., leaving us with some pretty decent conditions for Wednesday and Thursday and Friday are looking like some pretty nice days with lots of sunshine as well. Here's a, you know, this model just updated, and, uh, you know, if you were, were with us for for most of the morning, some of that orange was showing across the North Shore and parts of southwest Mississippi. That has since moved off to the east. Now we're just in the red, but even the red is an indication of two and a half to up to four inches of rainfall as a possibility. So the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch, places all under a flash flood watch through Tuesday morning. So we're expecting a lot of rainfall over the course of today and tomorrow, and the potential we are under an enhanced risk of severe weather. So the potential for some severe thunderstorms today. Day and tomorrow, strong winds, hail, uh, lots of lightning as a possibility as well. So your forecast for NOLA Navy Week for the rest of the time the ships are around. Today, 70% uh, chance of rainfall. Tomorrow, about a 50% chance. Your temperatures are in the upper 70s in the afternoon. Wednesday, much better with lots of sunshine. And your afternoon highs into the upper 60s with a slight chance of rainfall on that day. Now here's a look at your uh, Jazz Fest forecast. And I think we're all going to love this on Thursday and Friday and on Saturday. You're Afternoon high temperatures are in the mid to upper 70s. Uh, lots of sunshine is in the forecast as well. You've got to bring the sunscreen out for these three days. And on Sunday, I'm expecting sunshine as well. The afternoon high temperatures returning once again to the 80s. So the sun is going to be a big issue for you on Sunday. Right now, the rainfall is making its way across eastern Texas, trying to get into uh, Louisiana. Still just to the west of uh, parts of Lake Charles, stretching all the way up towards Shreveport as well. But that's going to be arriving here in this area later this morning again and this afternoon. So a quick look at your seven-day forecast showing those high chances of rainfall today and tomorrow and much better conditions over the rest of the week. Not a rainy